there's a new clan battle going on in Pet Simulator 99, and this time, the prize for first place is a huge Mystic Fox. And if I were a pet, it would basically be me. To say that I want this pet is an understatement. To get it, though, you have to become a god at the new Chess Raid minigame. Every room you beat in the time limit is a point for your team. The more points you have, the higher up on the leaderboard you are. Sounds easy, right? Boy, was I wrong. But before we see how things ended up, let's go back to the beginning, to the very first Chess Raid that I did. All right, we're starting in 15 seconds. I've equipped a whole new loadout to try to help us get as far as we can, as fast as we can. <laughs> Oh no, we almost made it to room 35. We made it to 34. We, I got 33 for my clan. No, I'm not gonna lie. At the time, I thought this was a great start. I looked through my other clan members and saw I was one of the top performing. I also thought that the key to this clan battle was breaking the chest with a team. Definitely a group effort because doing that solo, you're not gonna get near as far as what you would with other people. That is until I saw this post on Twitter where Cassie got 72 two rooms broken solo. After I questioned all my life choices, I did some digging and found that chests were actually made easier to break the less people in the server you had. So if you were alone in a chest room, you actually had a much better chance of getting further. The only problem? Getting in a server alone, as VIP servers didn't seem to work with Tech World. That is until... All right, I figured out how to make VIP servers actually work, and you don't even have to use your VIP server. You can use one of my three sub servers that are found by just joining my Discord. Discord, or you can just hop in a random friends. We'll do this one from Angel that says the Fox Fam server. Looks like if there's a person in it right now, we'll go ahead and join them. Which upon joining the VIP server puts you in a, well, a weird random public one. But all you have to do, click teleport, click the rocket, go back to world one. It puts you back in a VIP server with the one person in it. And then you click teleport and you click the rocket and you teleport back to world two. And upon doing so, you get in your own VIP server despite there technically being another person in it. So now that that's done, let's do it another clan battle. Before the next clan battle started, one of the pet simulator devs said that they fixed a few things on the chess raids and decided to reset all the clan points to keep things fair. Servers of restart. Everybody's back on the same page again. I've got again some new strats. And this time I'm going to try to do it solo and also do these enchants right here to see if we have a little bit more luck. Hoverboard on. Let's get going, gamers. test I did on the chest raid yielded 57 points, which was an improvement, but I knew I still had more work to do. To be one of the best, I needed to think strategically. I needed a game plan. The game plan is simple. Step one, get good. Step two, don't miss a chest raid like ever. This particular clan battle really sucks in that it seems to be more time zone focused. You see, I'm lucky living in the United States as the clan battles happen for me at 1 p.m. and 11 p.m. Now, for most kids, that's not good as they have school and bed time, but I got neither of those. However, people over in the other parts of the world are not so lucky, with chess raids happening at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. To start step one, I knew I had to do something really dumb. You see, to be the most powerful, you need the most powerful pet, and in this particular point in time, that most powerful pet is a 315 million stat rainbow shiny M6. There was just one problem. Oh no, it's not available like anywhere. Uh, After hours of hopping so Servers, I finally found one. And yeah, it wasn't cheap. Uh, 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 I did it. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. I don't know why I did that. That was such a dumb move. Oh my God. <laughs> why was this purchase dumb? Soon as the next update drops, this pet will basically become obsolete, which means I spent 200 million diamonds on nothing. Ha, huh, now I am more stronger than I have ever been. Now maybe we'll have some luck. At least I'm ready for the next clan battle. Or so I thought I was. It was at this time that a thunder storm started rolling in where I live and it ended up knocking out the power. As the countdown to the chest raid inched closer and closer, I was worried I wouldn't be able to make it. I got this little light here, but as you can see, it's not powering on. My power is completely out. So the chest raid is like literally in 10 minutes and while well, the power is still on, I don't know what I'm going to do. I could do it on my phone, but the networks are also down because of the storm. So like, I'm just kind of stuck. I can't join this chest raid. I'm going to let down my team. I'm going to let down myself. This time block thing 
thing makes this so much more stressful. I really wish they would just change it to where you could access it at any point in the day, but you only get to do it twice a day. That would solve so many issues. Oh, okay. But when I thought all was lost, last moment, the power came back on, I turned on my computer, I hopped in the game, and I missed it. I missed it by mere seconds. It was at this moment that I knew there was no catching up. You see, clan battles have gotten so out of hand, so crazy, that missing one of these chess raids almost guarantees your loss. In fact, over on other clans, if you miss one raid, there's a good chance you'll be kicked off completely. All I could do was shut down my computer, go to sleep, and wait for the next chess raid to come along. I am ready for a redemption. It starts in 56 seconds, and I am ready. I'm working on leveling up ranks, and all I need to do now is place down a flag. Now, up until this point, having the shiny flag would be better, but they've actually fixed it to where the shiny flags and the rainbow flags don't work anymore, so now you have to use strong and hasty flags. So I placed down the strong flag. We are ready to go in this raid. The other small thing I did was I changed my hoverboard to now using a three star. So I'll go a little bit faster. With that, let's go in here. I've still got damage potions on. All I need to do now is put on one more of the cocktail to give me a little bit more boost, as well as go through here and just eat all of my food. We are ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> Battling everything before I can even get to it. How far can I go before it like slows down to the point that I actually have to start grinding these chests? This is wild, bro. Okay, yeah, there it is. I think it's the big chests that are gonna be the death of me because these small chests break so quickly. I barely have to even worry about it. We are a minute in and already on room 24. And where do we finish? And the final was 79 rooms. Oh my god. 79, baby. Ha, the only problem is I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to set my pets to be auto farming when I walked in. So all the pets didn't actually get the flag boost that I thought they would. That's annoying, but we are making waves. That was a whole lot better. We are only going to get better from here. The next order of business was upgrading my enchant book loadout. Word around the street was that the chest breaker enchant book Book that you got from completing the huge chest breaker achievements was the king of books this clan battle as they gave you a 200% power increase on big chests. I had one from completing the achievements in the last clan battle, but I saw people saying two books was the ultimate play. And so yeah, I bought a second one, but it was 350 million gems. All right, now that 10 hours have gone by, it is now time to try it again. And I'm going to once and for all find out if the flags actually Hell. What we're gonna do, we're gonna place 10 strength flags that'll give our pets a 50% strength. We're gonna make sure that they get auto farm stuck to that area, and then we're just gonna kind of walk in and hopefully things work out for the best. We're not gonna worry about changing these just yet, and we'll go ahead and put on some damage potions and another cocktail. We'll eat all of our fruits and veggies. We had our stuff, we had our pets stuck on the last area. I don't know if that glitch works or not, but we're gonna test this round and see. Let's do this. But I'm weak and what's wrong with oh, we did so much better. We did so much better. It's 81. The strength thing does actually work. It gives you like a two room boost, which uh, is everything once you get to the further levels. So we'll keep testing. We'll keep changing things. And now that we've gotten 80, let's go for 90. I continued testing the chest raids with different enchant book loadouts and found what worked and what didn't. This is where we will end it in room 78, which means, yeah, this enchant loadout is not it. Oh, well, that's why we do some tests. But I I think I'm pretty much as strong as I absolutely can be. I need to get creative. I need to do some grinding. I need to get some higher ranks so I can use another book. And so now it's time I enact my secret plan. And that secret plan was to live stream to an audience for a few hours while I grinded up both my rank levels and my mastery levels. Oh, and I also did that thing where I asked people if they wanted to help the clan out by giving me royalty charms. And well, let's just say that worked like a charm. Sort of. There was one issue. Oh no. What? 
Why is it broken? It doesn't say who it's from. Oh, that's so annoying. This person looked like they wrote something really wrong and nice, and I don't know what they said, and I don't know who it's from, which kind of sucks. If you did all this, yeah, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. You guys are super helpful. I'm not able to know who it's from to give shout outs. Pet Sims trying to make me a liar, and I don't like that. I started to put royalty charms on all my pets when we found out some exciting news. Okay, we are three minutes away from the next chest raid, and this one is going to be insane. Everything is about to change. Why, you ask? Because the pet simulator devs have finally listened to us. David here says, made some changes to the clan point system. When a player leaves a clan or gets kicked, their battle points are subtracted. When a player rejoins a clan, their points are no longer retained. They are reset to zero. He also said that during a battle, you can not only kick one member of your clan every 24 hours, use the quick kicks wisely, and only appoint trusted officers. When there's no battle, there's no kicking limit. Consider that like the recruitment period. He also said if you want to reorganize your clans, make sure to do it between battles. Now, we're doing everything we can to reduce player cycling and improve the battling experience. Basically meaning this was a huge win. And it also means that we are probably going to see a lot of people start dropping. Pretty much everybody's score is going to update. No matter what we do right now, everybody is going to have less despite working as a team to get more points. But I'm going to put down max flags. I got these pets, these enchants. Let's see how we do. It's going to be interesting to see how this clan leaderboard changes this time around because the top two clans have cycled through a lot of players. So they are going to lose points of everybody who's not in their clan anymore. We have uh, also lost a few people, so we're going to lose. I think we calculated about 800 points this time. So we should actually see our points rise a little bit, whereas we might not see these rise at all and they may fall. But there's only one way to find out. We're going to go through this in 20 seconds and we'll see you at the end and go. And we are done. Where, where's the thing? There's supposed to be a thing. It pops up and tells you. The entire Hippo Melon Discord server is like, bruh, uh, where is it at? Oh, no. <laughs> but it looks like we've got 45K. We've got a few people that are now crossing the 1,000 mark. That's insane. I'm all the way at 845. Not going to lie. I missed one. We talked about it. If I had to think, I think that we're second because the Dala Clan is known for being heavily on the cycling. We're going to test it. We're going to see. And I knew it. There it is. <laughs> Dala Clan has fallen down, down, down. Goop Clan is still up top. I knew that was going to happen. Hippo Melon is now number two. And people that have cycled have started falling. This team fell, but then came back up when everybody else fell. But the team that fell the absolute most is the Glum team, who went from like number five to number 25. <laughs> With every clan battle we do, it still seems that the Goop clan is pulling away. And why is that? Well, because they cycled early, they got all their people, and they've held on ever since. Plus, they've got a Discord server with over 2,000 people in it, which means when this clan battle is over and they open up the recruitment period, they're going to be able to just pull from their Discord pretty easily, whereas like our clan only has like 80 members. So it's essentially 80 versus 2,000. Yeah, bro, we don't stand a chance. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Nonetheless, second place isn't bad for a team of 80 people. I got 83 that time, so the only thing I can do is keep practicing, keep trying, and see how high we can go. For the next few days, I went crazy, obsessing with trying to get as high as I could in the chest trade rooms. I bought a third chest breaker enchant book for 350 million gems and found that it didn't help at all. I grinded all the way up to a level 21 to unlock more pets and also to get that extra enchant slot. Then I tested again. I spent an additional 500 million gems on royalty and overload charms to stag my titanics with the most power possible. Then ran the chest raid again, creeping my way closer and closer to a high score. If that wasn't crazy enough, I spent 250 million gems on small enchant books with the sole purpose to upgrade them and max out my enchant mastery. Why? To give myself an extra boost on the power of the enchant books. Then I tested again. During the mayhem, the pet sim dev Connor tweeted out saying that doing chest raids with teammates of the same size and caliber would make the chest 5% easier. And so, Oilist and I did 
Sweet Array together and... Yeah, we did worse. I gave my response to Connor afterwards. For days, I tested and changed and tested again. All leading up to one final battle. It has all led to this. One last time to see if we can get as far as we can in the chest raid. We've done a lot of stuff. We've maxed out as much as we can. And the only thing left to do is to pick my enchant team. And to do that, we look to my clan member Discord. My goal when I started this video was to figure out how to hit 100 rooms in this raid. And I have done just about everything I could to get there. Where our highest performer, Missy, who averages over 100 per room, by the way, shared her loadout with me. And it looks like there are three chest breakers, three taps, two criticals, and one strong pet. So let's test it and see where we are. We got three tap powers, two criticals, a strong pet, and three chest breakers. Will that help? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We got our 94 pets. We're gonna stick them to this last area right here. We're gonna put down a hasty flag. We're gonna eat all of our fruits, drink all of our potions, equip our fastest hoverboard, and then just hope for the best. Halfway there, we're room 66. Now, if it was not a progressive build and each room is harder than the next, we would be easily looking at it about 132 rooms, but that's simply not gonna happen. Will we break 100 though, or is this progression gonna get crazy worse? The beginning part of the raid, as you saw for like the first 15 rooms, it was just about how fast I could get to each room, as pretty much every time I got there, every room was basically done. This back half though, I'm definitely slowing down a bit. Three minutes left, room 78. We only went up five. Two minutes left, we only went up four. It's slowing down. <laughs> One minute left, we're at room 86. I was trying to hit 100 this time. Bro, why can't I break 90 with everything that I've done? And this, my friends, is where it ends. As you can see, with 10 seconds left and 15, 14, 13, it's not going to catch. It's over. We are done. For all of that work, level 90. It's literally insane. We have spent almost a billion gems this clan battle, getting our mastery up, ranking up to a level 21, getting insanely expensive books and even the current best pet in the game. All of my Titanics have multiple royalties on them and the overload charm. All of that to reach level 90, to be second place, not by a little, but by over 20,000. Was it worth it? <laughs> Absolutely not. So you're probably wondering after all of this, what are the best strats exactly? First off, you're gonna need to grind. Rank 21 gets you the most pets as well as the most enchant slots. Also leveling up your masteries, especially the enchants and the potions, allow you to equip tier 8 enchants as well as have them be 25% stronger. Make sure you use your speed potions and your cocktails and your damage potions, as well as eating all your fruits. Then if you have a really fast three-star hoverboard, definitely equip it. Turn on your auto clicker and go to town. On your pets, make sure as many of your pets as possible have the royalty, the strength, and the critical charms. The more, the better. Get the overload charm allows you to put more charms on one single pet. And finally, we come to the book loadout. Now with the book loadout, there's a lot of different ways to go. There's not really a lot of right or wrong answers, but there are a few ones you definitely need to have. Having one chest breaker is key. Two chest breakers is better. Three is too much. And then having the highest level of the criticals, the tap powers, and the strong pets will help you, followed by fireworks, charms, and super lightning, as both of those will send experience explosives and lightning to the big chest to help break them. You can do a couple of different loadouts to see which ones are better for your team because different charms work with different style pets. You can play around with which charms you actually double up on. Just know that three is too many. And maybe it doesn't matter so much this clan raid, but learning how to play this chest raid game and knowing the strats to get you further will allow you to break more chests and give you a higher chance at getting what we all want to get after this clan battle is over. The 
huge glitched cat. I will say this, if this is what people have to do to get just a top three in the clan battles, nobody's gonna wanna do this forever. David has said that the clan systems is now past 10,000 lines of code, AKA a really new clan system is coming soon. David got me excited. Let me know if he got you excited. I'm hopeful for the future. And I'm hopeful you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then check out the next video for me. Thanks for watching, gamers.